everybody, Joe Daniels from Swing This Kettlebell and Strength, doing a little video on functional training for Tiger Fitness. What I'm going to do right now is everybody's finally, finally heard of kettlebells and how very well they can work with your existing program, whether that's bodybuilding or powerlifting. Okay. Uh, so what I want to talk about, you probably try to swing here or there, maybe you really like them. Um, what we're going to talk about is five things not to do when you swing. Okay. So we're going to do your basic kettlebell swing. There's so many different variations that you can get into. You can do American swings overhead. You can do a squatting type swing. But what I'm going to show you is the tr just a regular Russian kettlebell swing. There was mo more focus for the posterior chain, less quads, more hips, hamstrings, and, low and back. So first thing we're going to try to do is when you swing a kettlebell, we don't want any of these breaks in our, like, local breaks in our in our uh, spine. So we don't want an arch lower back. We don't want a rounded forward thoracic spine. We don't want a head forward. We don't want this. We don't want to be going down to the ground and looking straight up at the sky. You see that all the time. That's literally giving yourself whiplash the whole time. So brace your torso, shoulders to hips, neutral neck, and here we go. Number one. This is not a lift with the shoulders. This is not this. We're not doing that. No, no. What we're doing is pulling from the ground. This is why it works so well for deadlift, all that other stuff, explosive jumps. We hit the kettlebell and hike back and drive. We're pulling from the ground. Couple from the side. Hike back, drive. Notice I'm not lifting it. I'm pulling from the ground. Okay, there's number one. Number two, when the kettlebell is going down to the earth, there should not be a flip flop when it goes between your legs. We do not want that we're not pushing when the kettlebell hits you in the ass that's not correct what we're going to do is hike forward wait for the kettlebell to stop and drive forward always be safe when you swing to a stop it's another point that's point number six you don't want to end the kettlebell swing like this. That's just being dumb. Okay, number three. We don't want any wobble on the feet. Okay, think about deadlifting. You're squatting, everything. You're driving your whole pressure through the whole foot, okay? Your center, your center of gravity, center of mass should be stabilized right in the middle of the foot. Not back here, not back here, not up here. You'll see the difference. So we go from the side. A lot of people come up on the toes or they'll stay back on the heels. You want to be grounded. So, drive, squeeze. That's why it's so good for jumping, okay? You're driving from your whole foot. Go and try to jump from your heels. Not going to work very well. All right, so no wobble on the foot. A nice jumping position. Well side of the kettlebell, just enough the kettlebell can go between the knees. Organize your torso. Each vertebrae stabilize. Drop down, hike back, squeeze your glutes. Sit down. All right, number four, the biggest thing, lower back bracing, okay? We're not trying to come up and hyper extend our lower back. Once again, this isn't a lower back exercise. It's a whole posterior chain exercise. We're stabilizing the spine from the hips up 
We're using the glutes as the prime movers here. Hamstrings, glutes, hamstrings, calves, everything in the back we're working. But we're flexing at the hips. We're driving. So, let's see, once again, lower back bracing. I got a big butt, so it kind of looks like my lower back is overextending. It's not. Bracing. How do you do that? The same way you do it for deadlift and a squat. You tighten up your torso. Tighten up the abs. Everything around your spine. Stabilize the vertebrae. In a nice neutral spine. Number five. Do not chase the kettlebell. It's the best way you can see this from over from side view. So, as we stand up, when you're finishing, we do not want to we're not leaning like this. That keeps all the pressure on the mid and lower back. We want to if I chase it, that's what's happening. We're putting too much pressure through there. So one hand. If it's too far. That's not good. No, no, no. One-handed. How you do that is keep the shoulder blade stable, just like you're getting ready to bench. So I like a little external rotation in the shoulders. Five things not to do on your kettlebell swing. See you next time.